we are playing The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker today. Uh, this is going to be part three, if you remember from part two. We just finished up with Elin, so we are going to do, I believe, Claire today. So let's get to it. Okay, we're going to pick Claire. Hello. My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. All right, then. <laughs> well, I can see this one's going to be fun. Uh, who are you? Oh, well, I guess saying hello. Fuck, this one's going to be painful. Um, hmm. Let's see. Why are you here? Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. I can see that. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold that too. like that, though, doesn't it? What kind of violence? To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. I don't know, dude. You kind of seem a little antsy. <laughs> How did he provoke you? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> um, who is David? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Oh. Okay. Um, what does David do? Alright, I guess I can't do that. Um, why is Iris bad? Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. Oh. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. <laughs> She's a little, um, uh, I'm... I like her. She's a good actress. I'll give her that. Um, what did you think of Dr. Decker? The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. I still don't Perhaps know how he died. Well, the fact that he drank so much is a good indicator of his mental state. Interesting. Okay. Why did he drink? I don't know. Sorry. Well, that's a shame. Um, did you like Dr. Decker? Alright. Can't ask that. Um, hint. What was the violent outburst? I'm pretty sure I already asked that, but what the hell? We'll do it again. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Well. Shocking, isn't it? Not really. <laughs> um, uh, what do you think of Dr. Decker's murder? I don't know who killed Dr. Decker, but I imagine that in his line of work he met a lot of unstable people. Perhaps he pushed someone too far. Hmm. Who would he have pushed too far? Sorry, I don't know. Hmm, okay. Let's see what she said here. Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Okay. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm still getting over a little bit of a cold. Um, what kind of delusions? Delusions. As in, seeing things that are not there. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. Um, I'm not sure I believe that. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's see here. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Well, the fact that he drank so much is a good indicator of his mental state. 
What were you wrong about? No. Um. What? Maybe I can reword it. What were you wrong about, Dr. Decker? No? Hint. Why are you paying a small fortune? Being a witch has its perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. Okay. How are you rich? No. Tell me about your fortune. I don't know anything about that, Doctor. I'm sure you do, but okay, we'll leave that one. Um, hmm. Tell me more about David. Damn it. I hate that I'm so bad at coming up with questions. Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a <coughs> delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Why did Dr. Decker think you were psychotic? Or, well, let's say you are psychotic. No? Alright, let's check my notes. I don't have anything written for her yet. Huh, okay. Hmm. Claire? Hint? Oh, one second. Uh, she said he drank a lot. Why do I have to ask her? Drink a lot. I thought it was common knowledge that he drank. You could smell it on his breath when he got close to him. He kept a bottle in his drawer. Such a cliché. That is a cliché. What did Dr. Decker drink? What kind of bottle? If I knew anything about that, I'd tell you. Ugh. But I don't. Um... Tell me more about your violence. Now? What do you think of the patients? I'm going to have to plead ignorance on that one. Ugh, oh, this is terrible. Uh, 15 seconds, okay. What was Dr. Decker's prognosis? I don't have anything to say about that. You are useless too. One second, hint. Tell me about your obsessive tendencies. I'm obsessed with my husband. Great. It's absurd, really. I kind of believe she would um, stab somebody with a steak knife. Why are you obsessed with your husband? Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. What? Why shouldn't he be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. How did he almost die? My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. What kind of problems? I should have divorced him. I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. What could have been avoided? Our altercation. The downfall since. What downfall? Sorry, Doctor, I can't answer that. I don't know anything about it. Hmm. What altercation? I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm because not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. What was the private matter? I don't have an answer to that. Hmm. He was fucking his optician or something. Um, what did the police say? The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. 
I feel like if you have a lot of money, you can buy your way out of prison. I mean, <laughs> um, why do you need my help? I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. Huh. Who is everyone else? No, that doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. Why does everyone else think you're crazy? I don't know anything about that, Doctor. Uh. Why do people think you're crazy? Sorry. Ugh. I don't know. Man, we were on a roll, too. Um, tell me about your divorce, maybe? Divorce is such an imperfect means of separating two people, don't you think? I suppose I don't really mean it. I thought he was my soulmate and that I would do anything for him. That's a weakness that has caused me problems. What kind of problems has it caused you? Oh, I guess I already asked that. Okay. Let's see what she said here again. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a oh. private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Hmm. What were you angry about? I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Mm. I like her. She's a super good actress. <laughs> um, what happens when you lose control? Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money. And I'm fairly sure my time is up. Uh-uh. <laughs> um, hint? Why isn't David a well man? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Have you been feeding him rat poison? How do you care for him? David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. Why can't you hire someone? David's not ready for company. I hope to take you to see him one day and you'll see for yourself. Huh. Um. What's the lake house? David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Lucky you. Uh, why did David's health start deteriorating? I can't spell. Since our altercation, he's become less and less active. His mind's become less and less active too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. He's probably terrified of your crazy ass. <laughs> okay, um, well that was kind of quick, so let's do, um, <clears throat> let's do Bryce. I guess we're going to save Nathan for last, I feel kind of bad. But let's do Bryce. Oh, he's cute. Hello. Hello, Bryce. I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? Oh, he is some straight up Zach Addy shit from, oh, from Bones. I'll bet you he's got some dude in his basement right now. No, I didn't know Dr. Decker. Are you a cannibal? <laughs> he was an antagonistic psycho. Woo! I hope you're not from the same school of thought. Okay, he's a little... he's intense. <laughs> what are you doing here? Originally I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up, I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. He's... he's on edge as fuck. Tell me about work. 
I'm a grave digger, Doctor. Oh. And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. This is... It's it's so Zach Addy. <laughs> oh, that he's making a silver skeleton right now. Um, how are people dying? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Hmm. Okay, why is it taking you so long to bury people? I'm pro-cremation. Not just because I don't have to dig a grave. They still need a hole for the interment of ashes. It's more dignified. Like, you're becoming one with the universe again. Oh, goodness. Rotting in a wooden box. Even if you turn completely into atoms, how would you escape? Ugh. Even bits of the universe get lonely, I'd imagine. Hmm. How about tell me about the universe? It's a little broad. I don't have anything for you. Okay, that's good. That's that's good. <laughs> Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing <coughs> deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Okay. What failure? Apparently, I've gone a little mad. Obviously. Me, I have 25-hour days. Ooh. Why do you work so much? No. Um. Tell me about your depression. Didn't I ask that? You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Oh, boy. Um, I don't know, man. He's intense. He, he kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, how did you... Wait, now. What extra hour? At midnight each day. Time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. Oh, I I'm free like to that. wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Okay, tell me more about the midnight hour. It's a bizarre thing to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, mm. it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. Well, what do you think, not Doctor? Wrong. I don't think you're insane. I'm just gonna say that, because I'm afraid if I don't, I feel like he'll, uh... He'll try to chop me up into little pieces, so we're just gonna say this. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis, but it's good you're having a go anyway. Uh, okay. What did you think of Dr. Decker? I didn't really like Dr. Decker, and for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, what... Do you know about Dr. Decker's murder? Yes, Dr. Decker was murdered. Kel surprise. Murder does seem a bit harsh, doesn't it? And another grave to dig. I know as much about it as you do. Less, I would imagine. I still don't know how he died. Um, tell me more about the extra hour. Hmm. Let's talk. Well, let's rewatch this one. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. <coughs> In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. Huh. It's my very own midnight hour. Did I ask what he does? What do you do during the midnight hour? 
Oh, I guess I can't ask again. Alright, hint. Uh, did I not just say that? What the actual fuck? What does he do in the midnight hour? Wait, what do you do in the midnight hour? If you answer it this time, I'm gonna be pissed. In the extra hour, oh, I mainly you bitch. catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all oh at once. My God. Are you good at chess? I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. Uh, <laughs> he is so on edge that it's making me uneasy. What about the Queen? I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. The Queen, I believe. The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. But they took yeah. it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance. Which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. What's that Henley Church? I don't know. Huh. I think I probably spelled that wrong. Hint. Oh, why is it so hard to find someone who can use a shovel? Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old oh. Norman Motton Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. What relic? What kind of relics? No? Oh, I see. Okay. Why can't you use mechanical diggers? Hmm. Huh. Tell me about Henley Church. Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists. Oh. They handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or well, they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. What did they do with it? I can't help you there. Huh. Tell me about the Scientologists. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, but not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? <laughs> uh, yes, there are a lot of religions. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable, and the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts. <laughs> it's more likely they've all got it wrong, than one of them has got it right. It's true. Okay, so we're done with Bryce now. I'm just going to say that we're going to move on to Nathan, because I'm liking this, uh, this pace that we've managed to pick up somehow. Uh, I'm getting slightly better at this, I think, so let's go on to Nathan. Have a seat, Nathan. Why does nobody in this game wear their damn shoes? This is so gross. Wear your fucking shoes. Hello, Nathan. Oh, I don't have it up there. Hello, Nathan. I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. Okay. Uh, hmm, where's my questions? Okay. Why hell? I imagine what I'm experiencing now might be a type of hell. Not everyone burns in flames with the devil on their back. I'm hoping you can make sense of my problem. What is your problem? It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Yes. Welcome to life. <laughs> um, no, you're not in purgatory. Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. 
most of the time, anyway. What do you mean? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then, either. I didn't ask you shit yesterday, son. Um... Why are you stuck? Sometimes, it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak. Or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. Hmm. You need a tragic event for change. Okay. Like a murder. Now we have uh, the French mistake. No, um, that one episode of Supernatural where they go into this uh, like weird house and then Dean dies and Sam repeats the day over and over and over again. That's this guy. <laughs> um, I got Sam Winchester on my fucking couch right now. Uh, hmm. Have you ever seen a murder? Dr. Decker's murder was sudden. Oh. Brutal. It's terrible. The doctor. Two weeks. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. Huh. What does move you forward? To move forward, I really have to see something that feels like it can't be rewound. Like a death or some other tragedy. It's not enough to hear it or read it. I've, I've got to see it. I suppose from that point of view, it looks like I'm in control of things. Hmm. What did you think of Dr. Decker? Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him. He's got a big old zit right on his me. nose. Ah, oh, shit, now miss what he said. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. Why wouldn't... Why, why won't he remember it? As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five... 10, 50 times before I got to Tuesday. Huh. What did you talk to Dr. Decker about? No. Um. Tell me more about being stuck. No. Um. What happens on Tuesday? I don't know. Sorry. Hmm. Hint? Do you live the same day over and over again? I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day, to see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Good luck with that. Can you help me, Doctor? Yes, I can help you. I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This... This is our first time around, and I trust you. Well, that's good. Um, I hope that, uh, works out for you, actually. Sometimes, it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak. Or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, <coughs> doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event for change. Like a murder. Hmm. Tell me about change? I don't know anything about that. No. Who nods at you? I don't have anything to say about that. Okay. Hint? Why do you think Dr. Decker was complex? I was going to ask that too. I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him in the end. Like, he couldn't decide what to do with himself. Why couldn't he decide what to do with himself? He was like a kid in a sweet shop. He had so many options, he didn't know what to do. I suppose if you take too long picking, all your options run away. Hmm. 
Where am I? What else do I have here? Okay, we have one that's got two stars, which is still, why are you Sometimes stopped? it looks different. Sometimes the bird song will change, or, or the weather will be less bleak. Or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't, huh. doesn't do it today. But it doesn't usually change. You need a tragic event for change. Like a murder. Tell me more about the tragic events. I didn't see the driver. It was my fault. I pulled out and the lorry just rammed me. Well, Hannah. She was sat next to me. I was in shock, obviously. And when I came to, she was so close to me. It was like she was trying to hug me. Hmm. But it wasn't right. Not natural. It's a metal pushing through her. That was five years ago. Oh. Who is Lori? I can't answer that. Um, who is Lori? What? I don't know. Okay, I bet I spelled it wrong or something. Hannah? I, th I swear I heard Lori. Maybe I'm losing my own mind. Who is Hannah? My fiance. My childhood sweetheart. We met at secondary school. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. Oh, I boy, I got some shy. news for you. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. Maybe not. <laughs> Sorry. It's Warcraft. Oh, I a lot of time fuck. There. Oh, alright. This just took a weird turn. Tell me about Warcraft. We played World of Warcraft a lot together. I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. No. But we had a lot of memories there. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of life now. The same thing over and over again. Bring me X bunnies to make a stew. Y badger teeth. Rinse, repeat. <laughs> Maybe I'm just grinding life. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, um... Hmm. Did you get in a car accident? I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. Why haven't you had any relationships? I don't have an answer to that question, as okay. always. Tell me more about Hannah. No. Any other tragic events? No? Hint? Do you think the accident was your fault? I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? No. Oh, I guess it is. Deja vu about what? Oh, I can't. Okay. I guess we're finished. Because everybody's Amber. Yes, we are going to continue. Oh, Doctor. Glad I caught you. I thought you might want to hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up. I don't like this woman. She's creepy. What did Ben have to say? I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Ugh. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Uh, um, how did Dr. Decker die? Try asking me one thing at a time. Uh, it's alright, I'm not going anywhere. Tell me about Dr. Decker. I wouldn't say we were best friends, but we did spend a lot of time together. You know, there's only two of us that work here. 
I'm sure we'll become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get um, murdered. I'd rather not. <laughs> um, what happened at 1020? Does that what he said? Or, I don't know, Shit, Doctor. I typed the wrong time. Um, uh, what? Didn't I ask that? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Tell me about the murder. Yes. Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in oh. his office. In your office. Great. Um, tell me about my office. I didn't see it myself, so I don't know. But I heard it was a bit of a mess with all the blood and everything. You know, they have people who clean up after such things, though. Yes. So you really can't tell, can you? Don't worry. That's a new chair. Uh, I don't like her. She is just so nonchalant as fuck about everything. Um, tell me more about Ben. Nope. Um, how did the doctor die? I don't know exactly, but a stabbing of some kind. Finally. We'll be getting the autopsy through at some point. I'll, I'll let you know when. Um. All right, let's rewatch this. I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. And for some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Okay. Why weren't the police talking? The police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. Huh. I was at home, all on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. I'm sure you're devastated. <laughs> The only crime I think you committed is A, not wearing those shoes, and B, those giant pores. But, we'll let that slide. Um, what happens at 10 a.m.? Hmm, I don't know anything about that. Alright, tell me about 10, 20 a.m. I don't know what Dr. Decker was doing here, and my services weren't required that evening. He'd often stay late, oh. though, so it wasn't that unusual. Why did he stay late? I can't answer that. Huh. Tell me more about the police. No? Let's see. The police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. I was at home. All on my lonesome. Creepy. So I guess that makes me a suspect. Are you in a relationship? Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Why were you alone? I'd like to help, but I don't know anything about that. You don't know why you were alone? Ugh, hint. Who else is a suspect? That's a good question. I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew, or someone who had access to the office. Yeah, like little old me. Huh. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Yes, I think you're a suspect, because you're creepy as hell, lady. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I needed grief counselling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. Great. That's very kind of you. Excellent. I'm thrilled. <laughs> Let's take a look at my notes. Okay. I am going to leave it here. 
and we'll pick this up again in a part four. Um, I'm actually really glad with the pace that we got today, so I'm going to try and keep that up. I'm doing much better with the questions, which is great. Um, I believe Claire is my favorite, even though I think she's a little crazy. Uh, Nathan, I think, is totally a gormagon in disguise. Um, and anyway... Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter at PCGamerGirl or visit me online at PCGamerGirl.com. If you like this video, please hit the like button or feel free to subscribe. Um, also, check out my other videos. I'm playing another really awesome game right now called Lazaretto, and I love it. And you should definitely check out my Let's Plays. Um, otherwise, I will see you later. Bye!